Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Nolan and in today's video I have got my Traxxas Mini E Revo out with me. Uh, it is brushless and as you guys can see I have got the foam tires mounted on it. Now I have not used these foam tires in quite a while. My plan was actually to film a video with these foam tires. That's why I had them swapped on. Uh, but that video never really came to fruition unfortunately. Um, because I was having receiver issues. So the receiver basically crapped out on this machine. So in the meantime uh, since the receiver crapped out, I had a Spectrum one sitting around, so I went ahead and I uh, connected it to my Spectrum DX4C transmitter. So the Traxxas uh, radio system is no more, but uh, just check her out, guys. Doesn't it look super sweet with the foam tires? I brought her out today, guys, to the park. I want to see how well she'll actually be able to bash and jump. I got some ramps set up over here. I'm interested to know how well it'll be able to get through the grass. Um, because obviously with foam tires, there's no tread on these. Also guys, I'm running a brand new mic on my phone. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if my audio sounds better than it normally does, uh, in most videos. Because I'm also hoping that, uh, this new external mic and this wind catch will hopefully, um, you know, lessen the wind noise that comes across in my videos. So hopefully that will, uh, make your guys' experience watching the videos even better. Um, but yeah, also guys, if you're liking my content, uh, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and, uh, make sure to hit the notification bell so then you'll be notified when I do come out with new videos. Now, this one does have some upgrades. It's got the Savox servo, because the original servo conked out. This, the power system, oddly enough, is still stock. I'm pretty sure I have the low speed gearing in it right now, but to be honest, it could be the high speed. Who's to say? It's been so long since I've messed with this. But this one does have, um the hot racing spiral cut diff gears because I kept on stripping the stock diff gears especially on the back multiple times on this machine it just had too much power for that diff um, so I went ahead and I put the hot racing spiral cut ones in which were very expensive for a 116 scale car they were like a hundred bucks total for two and that did not include the internal gears. I still had to swap the internal spider gears out of the stock diffs into that. So that was just for the a new aluminum diff cup and ring gear and pinion. Um, so I thought that was pretty outrageous because for my Traxxas Summit from Hot Racing, I was able to get the same gears, and that's a 1A scale basically, twice the size. I was able to get those gears for also $100. So why these ones were so expensive, I have no idea. But we're going to try bashing them on these foam tires. I don't know what the brand is. I bought them quite a while ago. I've only used them a few times for some on-road tests. I think I did a top speed run maybe a time or two with these on. But we're out today, guys, to just do something a little bit different by uh, testing her out in the grass and uh, taking her off some jumps. So I'm gonna be running a three cell pack. Um, it's this 1800 milliamp 50C discharge rate, three cell pack. Let's just have a bunch of fun. So let's go ahead and jump right in this video. Alrighty, guys, and away we go. She might struggle in the grass, uh, since there's no tread, and this definitely lowered the ground clearance. But uh, I think, nonetheless, we can still have some fun. And if we can't, we'll just go up on the road and have fun up on the pavement. Either way, we're going to have fun. How about a quick launch, guys? Ready? Get set. Go! <laughs> I want to go ahead. I want to hit the ramp while I'm over here. Let's go ahead and bring it. Really got to power its way through the leaves. Line it up. Not terrible. I keep on pinning it. She just keeps on spinning out of control. Obviously, foam tires are not meant <laughs> for going off-road. Let's bring her again. Alrighty guys, I went ahead and I switched my microphone around to the opposite direction, so now it's pointed towards the RC car, so if my voice sounds a little more faint, um, that's the reason why. Um, but I figured you guys want to hear the RC car a little bit more than me, but hopefully you guys can still uh, understand what I'm saying. But uh, let's go ahead, let's do another launch with the 116th Mini E Revo. Are you guys ready? Get set. Go! <laughs> Oh. 
Can we hit the ramp? Oh! Ooh! Um, I might actually take you up on the road because look, we're not getting any speed. I'm losing control. The leaves are really kind of pushing me wherever they want to go. No. We'll try again. Yeah, that's full. That's full pin. We ain't getting very far. What do you guys think about me going up on the road real quick? Because we might not be able to do much in the grass, which is kind of why I suspected. There we go. That's kind of why I suspected anyway that um, she wouldn't do the greatest in the grass. Alrighty guys, I decided to come up on the road because it's much more suited to be up here on the pavement. So once some of these vehicles go past, then we're going to hop on the road and do some flybys and stuff. That should be a heck of a lot of fun. How about a launch? In the gravel? Ready. Get set. Go. The thing performed pretty well on the pavement. I am very surprised how well the... Um, the foam tires work on pavement. It's pretty impressive, actually. It's pinned right there. She's no slouch. Spin her around, make sure nobody's coming, and let's go ahead, and let's do a flyby. Here we go, guys, on the throttle. Pinned. Ooh, spun out a little bit. Let's take her all the way right down to behind that truck. Hopefully he doesn't back up. Spin her around, make sure it's clear, and here we go, guys, on the throttle. Pinned. She's kind of losing control a little bit. But I don't have any TSM or anything on this. This is kind of fun. another rip on the pavement we need a launch on the pavement all right are you guys ready get that go that's like a little missile ah uh, upside down gotta go get it get it flip back over and keep on going Also, if you guys are enjoying this content with the Mini E-Revo, e make sure to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Launch. Ah. Uh, she hit low voltage mode, guys. That's the end of it. That three cell pack didn't last super long. Alrighty, guys. I had two Nikoma Hydride packs, 1200 milliamp in the Jeep. So I went ahead and swapped those in. Um, they're also running in series, so it's twice the power. I figured since I had them, why not go ahead and keep on ripping? Uh, these tires are definitely a little worse for wear because um, obviously foams are not meant to go on, you know, in the grass. They're not supposed to go on gravel. And that's exactly what I've been doing. So uh, it's chewing them up a little bit, but uh, I still think it's fun. But let's go ahead. Let's get out here on the road. Let's do a launch. One, two, three, go. She takes off. She's pretty grippy too. It's a quick little machine, almost too much power for its size. That's kind of what I've always thought about the 1 16th E Revo is it's almost too much power for how big of an RC it is. Spin around and pinned. Also guys, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this 1 16th mini E Revo content. Bringing her back, make sure it's clear and here we go. This probably is a high-speed gearing, I have a feeling. That looks pretty quick, so I think it's a high-speed. Now, since these are nickel metal hydride packs, they are going to wear down pretty quick. her back in this direction Ooh! uh-oh guys I think 
Yep, exactly what I thought. The, the foam tire came unglued. Or it came off the wheel anyway. Well, that's a bummer. So anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Next time I have this RC out, I'll probably go ahead and put the stock tires back on. Then we can do a little more bashing, because obviously it's not suited for these wheels and tires. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.